Simple Minds there, don't you forget about me. Well, I have never forgotten um, meeting my guest today uh, for the first time. I first saw her, Kidi, uh, 15 years ago at Stairway to the Stars, a talent show at the Riviera Centre in Torquay. Now, she came on with another girl and she sang a pop song and they were dressed in spacesuits, I think, and that they all lit up. <laughs> we all said, the, oh, I think they were lime green, weren't they, Kidi? They, they were lime green, yeah. Anyway, she then slipped off. The other girl disappeared. Kidi slipped off, put a tabard on over the top and gave a flawless rendition of Ness and Dorma, which brought the house down. I mean, I have to say, when the opening bars are... We thought, oh no, you know, she's like four foot nothing, little girl. We thought this is going to be all so embarrassing. It was amazing, absolutely. Well, after that, not long after that, she signed a record deal and had a number two with Duncan James of Blue, which she followed up with a version of Jerusalem featuring the victorious English cricket team who just won the Ashes. She's done the soundtrack for a Hollywood film. She supported Diana Ross, Whitney Houston and Rod Stewart. And this week, she can be seen on The Voice. Now, Kidi has started a season of weekly shows, Starlight at the Babacum Theatre Torquay, which runs right through till October. But before we chat, here she is with Duncan and that number two single from Andrew Lloyd Webber's Woman in White, I Believe My Heart. Disappears all in a single glance, so revealing. You smile, and I feel as though I've known you for years. How do I know to trust what I'm feeling?
I believe my heart, the scene from Andrew Lloyd Webber's musical The Woman in White, from Keedy and Duncan James, uh, from Blue. It went, in, well, it went to number two in the charts, and Keedy is with me now. Lovely to see you again. Thank you very much. Good morning. Uh, good morning. <laughs> um, I, I can't believe it's 15 years I know, since I know. you came on that stage. It was a green suit, wasn't it? It was, up. it was. <laughs> it was wonderful, it, it was really me, was. Me, my sister, and my um, my sister Nadine and our friend Kelly. It was oh, three of us. Three yeah, of you? There was I'd three forgotten of us. that. Sorry, Nadine and Kelly. I don't know. No, yeah, no. Yeah. Well, we have spoken to you on the programme since because yes. you'd, you'd got your single album, which you'd yeah. done at uh, Abbey Road. That's but the it. last time I spoke to you, you said you were going off Hope, hoping to, to perform with Il Devo or something. But I did, and I performed with them at Hens, Hensley Festival. Hensley did you? Fe- yeah, that was... Um, it was actually a quite busy weekend. I'd performed at Andrew Lloyd Webber's house that weekend. Blimey. Yeah. yeah, so we'd performed there, and then the next day was um, Hensley Festival. Oh, gosh. And then um, I think it was the day after that that we flew to Jodie Kidd's family in Barbados. So, yeah. Hell's teeth. Yeah, busy. It's a bit of a jaunt from talking, isn't it? Really, (laughs) Um, but I just want to look. Palm trees. (laughs) Um, I yeah. I I want to talk about some of the amazing things I've I've read about here. Some more amazing things. You You sang at a party for Al Pacino. Yes, yes. I know. I know. (laughs) (laughs) How come? Um, Well, I did um, a soundtrack to a movie. Oh, was that Modigliani? Modigliani. That was starring Andy Garcia. Oh. So when I was over there, um, I did the Miami Film Festival. Yeah. So I got to do that. And, um, yeah, Al Pacino, um, it was his birthday. And um, he'd seen me perform and invited me to sing at his birthday. For his birthday at his house. <laughs> Blimey. Was yes. it, were you nervous? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Very nervous. And I think... Um, even more so because you see somebody on the telly and you mm. admire their film mm. so much mm. and then when you're standing next to them, literally standing next to them because he's about my height, five yes. nothing. <laughs> steady, steady. Yeah, um, it's just overwhelming. Yeah. But, but they're all... Really amazing, really They're all people. diddy people, aren't they? They are. Hollywood I think that's stars. the thing with um, our industry. We're all really, really little. Yeah, but, but the Hollywood... The <laughs> yeah, they're the little Hollywood stars. I mean, no. Andy Garcia's not a big guy either, is No, he? no. They're all very little like yeah. me. So. And Tom Cruise is your size as well. He is, yeah. Yeah, uh-huh. apparently he wears heels, doesn't he? Well, I don't know. Films, so. I have worn his suits. Have you? Yeah. Oh. And the trousers flapped around my ankles. Really? Yeah, yeah, wow. yeah. That's a long story. Tom, Tom <laughs> yeah. wasn't there. Tom <laughs> wasn't there. <laughs> no. Um, another party I know you performed at, which must have been even more exciting for you, was David Foster. Yes. Now, David Foster yes. is the man who produced all of Whitney Houston's That's stuff, correct. isn't he? yes. So what was that like? Um, gosh, he was an amazing man it was um just another one of those uh, it sounds um incredible because i was so young and i think it was a roller coaster at the time that mm. i didn't take it all in mm. so looking back now i think it was just it, it was amazing just going to his house and meeting him and admiring what he'd done anyway because mm. he'd wrote things as well also for um celine dion mm. and then um performing for him was just incredible he was such a nice man and really enthusiastic as well now Whitney so, would have been alive then so was she, she was, was yes. she there was she there at all? she wasn't there no no yeah. but I have supported Whitney Houston <laughs> <laughs> and, and yeah I, um, I supported Whitney Houston Tina Turner oh. um, Diana Ross um, yeah meatloaf so when so. you get to, to meet <laughs> these women, particularly, yeah. who, who must be heroines of yours, Absolutely. do you get to talk to them? Do, do they pass on advice? Yeah, do they... um, I know Meatloaf knocked on my um, dressing room door to come in because we shared the same voice coach at the time. So um, I'd bought him some sweets. I heard he was a big sweet fan. Right. So I bought him some sweets back from L.A. and... He heard that I had them, so he came and knocked on my door to get them off me. Right. So, yeah. Um, yeah, and you get to meet them, and, you know, I think at the time you kind of just taken back that. They don't face. say. Do they say anything like, honey, yes. honey, you know, if I were you, I'd... Uh, yeah, yeah, they give you um, a lot of, um, you know, information about how to better yourself, mm-hmm. and I think I performed this once, and Tina Turner's bouncer as yeah. such came down to me, and he said, oh just a message from Tina she thinks you're incredible and wow and I was, yeah you just feel a bit astonished really Blimey. <laughs> I know Blimey. and um did you meet Clooney George Clooney 
Yes, yes. Um, yeah. <laughs> I'm just, I know. I'm just plucking names. I out know. Of this is this is all like I met him at the Miami Film Festival, just kind of on the red carpet. Were you George? <laughs> <laughs> I know. I know. It's incredible. I, I do remember once being on when we was on the um, the carpet of the Miami Film Festival. There was um, I was just about to walk down, and somebody had mentioned to my dad because my dad comes everywhere with me. <laughs> he's upstairs my, now. Isn't he? he is. He's yeah. um, my tour manager, and they said to him, "Will you go and ask that gentleman down there just to move aside so Keely can walk down?" And bless him, my dad walks down. He said, "Oh, excuse me, can you move aside?" And um, it was Sylvester Stallone. Oh. <laughs> Now, your dad... So that was I really would, funny. Your dad's got a look that I wouldn't mess with. Oh, um, no, he's a softie. I know, I I know, know he's bless a softie. <laughs> and he's, he's given everything for you. I think you he told has, us yeah. in the past, you told us that you yeah. saw the television and oh, you know, God, everything. Yeah. yeah. He's, um, him and my mum, when my mum was alive, was just the biggest, mm. the biggest support. And he still is. He's still there by my side every day. And oh, I'm sorry, I didn't know mum wasn't here anymore. Yeah, yeah. my mum passed away beginning of February last year. Oh, I'm sorry. So. Thank you. But they but, gave, I mean, yeah. such a close family, aren't oh, you? Oh, still now. We're just a big unit and even my sisters and my brother. Mm. You know, we, we at Christmas just gone, there was 18 of us with all the grandkids at my dad's house. Gosh. Bless them, bombarded. And, yeah. you know, usually my mum does the cooking, but my dad lived up to her expectations That's and wonderful. he did well. So yeah. very close family. Yeah. But your sister, who yeah. works at the station. Yeah, get, she works at the railway station yeah. in Paynton. She doesn't give you free pasties, does she? She doesn't, no. <laughs> but I must admit, they are the amazing pasties, so they're worth paying for. <laughs> um, we're going to hear, we're going to play another one of your songs now oh, and come back you. and chat a little bit more about the show uh, in Torquay. But this is you with Ave Maria. Okay, You're happy lovely. about that? Yeah, okay, here's absolutely. Keely. Thank you.
guest Kidi with Ave Maria and uh, a very young Kidi there I was yes 20, I think I was 20 nearly 21 then <laughs> still a very very mature very Thank mature you. voice and I, I have you still got the, the the person who who was your coach down here um unfortunately I had it was a coach that I had in London and he passed ah. away oh did he yeah which was really unfortunate so no I don't have him as a yeah. coach but he was amazing he taught people like Elaine Page and Sarah Brightman and, gosh yeah, yeah he was yeah. a amazing coach um is it right that diane warren is writing or was writing a song for yes, you yes yes um she's she's always there as a she's a good friend of mine so good lord yeah. <laughs> let me just fill in for people who don't know who diane warren is um she wrote celine dion's how do i live without you aerosmith's yes. i don't want to miss a thing rhythm That's of the correct. night she's written yes. for whitney houston barbara streisand Aretha Fran- <laughs> how is she a good friend of yours um i met her when i was over in america yeah. and um She's she's says she's always there for me. She said, if you know, if you if you get another um, record deal, I've got an album I'll write for you. And yeah, excellent. So I have it, I've got to ask you um, with all these things that we've mentioned. You know, supporting Diana Ross and Tina Turner uh, and Whitney and Diana Warren writing a song for you. Why are you doing the voice? Well, you've done it, yeah, and I yeah. can't push you on that, and I wouldn't dream <laughs> no. of it because it's on on Saturday. Thank Why you. the voice? Um, well. I think when I did the song with Duncan, it was um, such a blessing. But I think for the public, I was always known as the girl who'd performed alongside Duncan. Mm -hmm. And even though I'd done all these amazing things, people wouldn't know I'd done them. So I always feel like I'm still yet to pursue a solo career. And for the public, I'd love to release another album. And um, unfortunately, when I did release my album, it was just before Christmas and the people that signed me at the record company left so my album didn't do too well because it didn't get, get the promotion, promotion. And, and that's it's got to be done that hasn't that's it that's it it's all part but it doesn't matter how good a singer you are no, if it's not no, out there that's it and if people don't see it and um, so yeah I still feel yet I'm to pursue my solo career and mm. when I lost my mum last year she said to me just go for it go for everything so mm. I did so mm. I just thought right that's it I'm going to Seems like the voices, the places that get all the promotion, and you're in the in yeah. people's face, and yeah. So I thought. Right, so that's all it. I all I am going to ask you about it is: Did you enjoy? Have you enjoyed the experience of Absolutely the voice? Absolutely amazing. Everyone at the voice team are just brilliant. Mm. So yeah, it's they're very encouraging for Absolutely, you because yeah. they they do tend to. Did they? Am I allowed to ask you? Did you tell the judges what you'd done before? Or, or I did. Uh, not did? not the judges, but right. obviously I told the team yeah. because they ask information yeah. of you, so they knew what I'd done before. And I think they were just encouraging because I think lots of people who have done things in the past, um, if they haven't got to their full potential, mm. they just, you know, they want to see everybody do well. Yeah, there was Nathan on from Brother Beyond last yes, week. Yeah, that's it. And they had one of the girls from Five Star on, I think, once yep. before. Yep. Um, you, you tried for X Factor as well, didn't you? Before? I did back in um, 2000, probably about six or seven years mm. ago now mm. but doesn't it you don't you've got to take these knocks as well that's you? it that's yeah. it and i think if if you take the knocks it makes you a stronger person and mm. you hope that something positive comes out of mm. what you do and um, with the x factor um what i didn't realize at the time is that you couldn't have management so and oh, i had really? management at the time uh, so i yeah. i didn't go any further but still that was a great experience yeah. well you've got to and do it that's you know, it yeah that little girl keep, keep who... trying everything <laughs> you know even though you've done all these amazing things you're still knocking down those doors Absolutely. and hoping that someone opens it for you yeah that little girl who was three years of age doing maria callas in front right. of the television or, or oh, singing goodness. on top of an ice cream van in tinmouth it's my yeah. little girl doing the same thing now <laughs> 
<laughs> How old is she? Three. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, she's there. My dad always says she's a little mini me. And what have you called her? Ava May. Yeah. Because some unusual names in your family. I know, Because dad named you after he Kiki did. D. Kiki D. Yes, and Kiki my D. brother after a football team, Milan. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Lovely, lovely. <laughs> I know, bless him. And let's, let's talk about um, Starlight, which runs on Tuesday and Wednesdays yes. through till October. Who's in it? What are you doing? What's, what, how's it run? It's another Colin Matthews special. He does the most beautiful things. He gets a full-on variety mm. from singers to comedian, dancers, and I think that's what he specialises in is his productions. And it just works. He just puts on the most amazing shows I mean, being a solo artist, I didn't know how I'd feel going to a team, mm. but it's just like a family. So it, it's just has amazing. it got a theme to it? It's just a big variety of um, dancers, singers, comedy. Um, not um, not necessarily a theme, it's just... Not just London musicals or things like that? No, no, no just, it could be a pick of yeah. anything. I mean, I'm performing Love Never Dies from Phantom of the Opera 2. Mm -hmm. um, and then I'll sing... Um, with Paul, Paul Cobley, who's, we sing Only You from Starlight Express. Yeah, because Paul's done a couple of Western musicals, hasn't yes, he? Yeah. yeah, he's a fabulous singer mm. to sing with. Um, I also sing with an amazing girl called Lisa Walker. and We sing stuff from Jekyll and Hyde. Um, and then there's Wayne Champagne, who's a fabulous singer. Um, ben Nicholas, who's a phenomenal comedian. Mm -hmm. He just does impressions and... Oh, he has me laughing backstage. Such a wonderful, wonderful comedian. So a good family variety yeah, show, and then. Phil, Phil Lowen, he's um, the main comedian who... So, yeah, amazing. Yeah, yeah. Really, really good. You, you talk, you're mentioning a lot of sort of West End musical songs. That's it. Um, have you ever thought about going into acting and getting in, trying to get into I'd West I'd love End? to. I'd love to. I mean, a good friend of mine, Becky Bennett, she just done um, a pantomime. She was in the show last year. Mm. She did a panto at Christmas and doing things that like I'd love to do pantomimes so and but I'm thinking West End musicals yeah. with your voice and yeah, I'd love to do you've got to be a, yeah. do a bit of acting training and yeah, stuff yeah yeah I've done a lot of acting so that's nice of oh yes know. you did a, a film yes um, Meet Again that was um filmed last year so yeah we're just waiting for that to be with edited. Chris Todd that's it yeah yeah because we had Chris on the the program the, oh, the okay. former talkie lovely United man. footballer yeah, yeah lovely man and he was talking about that yeah. yeah so we're just waiting for that to be um edited and mm. So I think that should be shortly out this year. So that's lovely. And you're back home, feet yes. back on the ground. Always, yeah. always. So it wouldn't, it didn't go for America, even though you were out there and you were playing, you didn't? Yeah, um, well, I was over there and I was recording, but mm. um, I never really tried it. I never really tried America, so it's always a place mm. that I would like to try. But you're happy, married, got yeah. little, and, and you're yeah. working right the way up till October That's down it. here. Yeah. Kitty, lovely to, to Thank talk you to you. Thank you so much for having um, me. It's no good me saying good luck for Saturday because oh. you've you've done it, you've recorded it. You and your dad sworn to secrecy. You'd I have know. to kill me if you told me. I know. <laughs> Locked um, you in a cupboard. And <laughs> so all I'm going to say is whatever happens, I, it'll you. be good. Thank you very look much. Forward Thank to you for having me. You're welcome. Thank, Thank you, you Kitty. My guest was the lovely Kidi, and don't forget those shows Starlight at Babacum Theatre in Torquay every Tuesday and Wednesday right through uh, till October.